Hi. So let's begin. You'd have heard from the intro and also from the title. Today we're going to be talking about my fragrance collection. So my fragrances are in a few places in my makeup room. I've got shelving units. So at the top, I've got some of my beautiful boxes that I wanted to keep. And then I've got a couple of shelves here and an extension down there. So we're going to get there in a second. But yeah, I'm going to go through my fragrances. This is going to be the first time I'm showing you guys my collection. I must say that the collection has grown a bit this year as opposed to last year. I did have a, a healthy collection last year, um, meaning 2020. Because I'm not sure if this video is going to go out um, for Vlogmas or if I'm going to defer this one till January. Either way, I'm talking about 2020. My collection was a little bit more um, modest. And for 2021, I don't know what happened, but yeah. I had a lot of fragrances on my wish list and I was kind of on a no eyeshadow palette type of thing. So kind of just diverted my energy to other parts of beauty that I love. I did invest in a few fashion pieces as well and things like that. But anyway, we're here for the perfume collection. So I'm going to be doing this with my phone. So apologies if it's a bit shaky, um, but we're going to go through each shelf. I'm going to try and make it as fast as possible. If there are any perfumes or any categories that you'd want me to delve into a little bit uh, deeper, definitely let me know. Another thing that I've been doing is posting shorts. So I'm going to be doing that a lot because I post a lot of reviews on my um, TikTok. So if you're looking for a specific perfume review, definitely check shorts. Definitely check my Pinterest. If you still don't see it on there, then definitely let me know and I'll be more than happy to do that. But yeah, let's let's get in because I haven't counted my fragrances. I might do that quickly so that we can, yeah. Let me give it a count because I actually haven't counted my fragrances. All right, so I do have 124 fragrances. So let's start from the top. So I like to organize my fragrances by color. Um, I am a believer that you can wear your fragrances whenever. But obviously, there are some fragrances that perform better in specific months. But generally, I am of that school of thought. So I'm going to try my best to show you because I'm actually standing on a stool. The first fragrance is Bubbly Touch. I love the bottle of this fragrance. Uh, performance is an issue on that one, but the bottle generally is gorgeous. And then I've got my uh, Amani C. Flory, I think it's called, is it? Fiori or Flory? I think it's Flory. But anyway, I do love the Amani C. range. It is one of my favorite from the Giorgio Armani collection. I do have quite a lot of Zara fragrances as well. So this one is Tuberose by Zara. I believe they've changed the packaging or the bottle, I mean, of these fragrances, I think. But anyway, this one's Tuberose. I love the shape of this particular bottle. I love the smell of this fragrance. For me, it's perfect for like bedtime wear and, you know, just girly stuff. The Armani C as well just reminds me of like feeling pretty, feeling cute type of fragrance. And then at the back of that, let's see if we can move, move things a bit. <laughs> at the back of that, I've got Wonder Rose, Wonder Rose from Zara. And this is one of those bigger bottles from Zara. Wonder Rose is very, very pretty smelling. I absolutely love that fragrance. And then I've got um, Fields at Nightfall, which is a seemingly new-ish fragrance. Zara does have quite a lot of fragrances. So this one smells really, really good though. And I feel like the performance on these Zara fragrances is pretty good. And then in front of that, I have Zara Orchid, which is a stunner. I love that fragrance. I do have a review, kind of like a rating video, but also a review uh, talking about that particular fragrance. And then to the side, 
I've got this one. This was a gift from Makeup for Days. And this is a Papa Jean fragrance. I love the bottle. It's like a cocktail. Just like a cocktail bottle. And then one of my favorite fragrances that I'll always repurchase. I've got Florentina from Marks and Spencers. If you know, you know. And then from Zara, Ruby Berries. Another beautiful fruity bedtime type of scent i love it it's very very sweet dries down super sexy i love it and then at the back of here i've got ceruti 1881 that is one of my oldest fragrances like in terms of scent that's actually a new bottle but i've smelled that fragrance so many times in my lifetime my mom used to wear it and i got a little sample from my grandma when she was alive and i love the scent the only thing i don't like about it is the fact that it is pretty powdery so it doesn't do my asthma any favors <laughs> but i i keep it for sentimental reasons and then this one is coach can't remember which one this is but it's a very beautiful it's still flowery powdery but not as bad i do love that one actually and then pink flambe from zara is another sweet creamy scent that i absolutely love then over here i've got this fragrance from Miu Miu. this is a gift from makeup for days I actually haven't smelt that fragrance yet. It was one of my Christmas presents from her. So thank you, girl. I haven't smelt it. And then I've got this one from Lacoste, which the performance of this is pretty bad, but it's such a beautiful bedtime scent. I literally just wear it to bed because the performance is pretty poor. And then I've got Valentina, Valentino bon, um, Donna Bon in Roma, which is this one. And it's a nice scent. I do feel like it's overhyped. Um, it's okay. It's lovely. It's nice, but you know, if you follow me on TikTok, you know how I feel. This is one of those fragrances that I did review on TikTok. And then to the back of that, I've got 212 VIP Party. That's one of my, um, I want to say unique bottles, unique scents, because I got that on holiday a couple of years ago. And when we were in the store, the guy told us that it's not going to be available in the UK. And I thought he was lying. Literally, I bought it and then I was just hunting for it throughout in the UK and it didn't come out in the UK. So very happy that I got it. It's very uh, bubbly, very bright, very fun smell. I, I love it. I like to wear it during the summer months because I feel like it performs a lot nicer then. I've got Giorgio Armani, My Way. That's the intense version. It's a lovely, beautiful scent. Iconic Flower Bomb by Victor Ralph. And I do like Flower Bomb. It is quite powdery for me, but it's still a an iconic floral scent. If you're looking for a nice floral scent. In front here, I've got Anais Anais by Cacarel. And... I believe that's how you say cockerel <laughs> this was one of my mom's scents growing up so you know sentimental reasons but i also love the scent performance isn't the best but i do love the scent right there i've got juicy couture i love juicy couture beautiful leopard print bottle i do love the bottle i do love the scent I feel like it's one of those scents that are not um, offensive. You can wear it to work. You can wear it pretty much anywhere. It's those easygoing scents. And then I've got Lacoste over here. Um, Touch of Pink. Which I absolutely love. So, yeah. Cute, fun, young-ish type of fragrance but i quite like it i think it's super pretty i think it should be a lot easier down here <laughs> so at the back i've got rogue by rihanna this is a classic 
fragrance it's an old fragrance i believe i literally heard from the cherry cv about this fragrance and i definitely had to pick it up i do love the bottle of this it's very much i am here and proud i do love the scent very inexpensive fragrance gorgeous scent um sofia by sofia vergara i love the bottle very nice i feel like this is a cross between um la belle and maybe a bit of chanel i feel like it's a cross between the two of them i'm actually wearing it today as my scent of the day and it's a very happy feeling fragrance and i do love the bottle plus the performance of that fragrance is really really good um burberry her is this burberry her or burberry for her wait these burberry perfumes they confuse me i believe this is burberry her um i believe it is burberry her anyway i got this one in a gift set so i do have a small 30 ml bottle or rather i had i've gifted that one but i do like this fragrance as well to be honest i can't remember everything <laughs> so i'm just gonna tell you in terms of what i remember um in terms of performance the performance of this one is pretty good and then i've got my itty bitty coco mademoiselle from chanel i've been wanting this fragrance for the longest time so this was one of my christmas presents for my husband which i'm super appreciative because it's just a fragrance i just wanted to have in my collection like i'd literally smelt it in harrods a couple of months ago i mentioned it to him and that was it you know so i'm super appreciative that he paid attention and he purchased it for me and then to this side i've got my ysl libre and when i went into harrods was it harrods no when i went into harvey nichols i asked the um ysl you know perfumer the perfume person at ysl stand how you pronounce it and she said it's a bugbear that she hates it when people pronounce it as lib that it's actually libre so it's libre so ysl libre <laughs> um that's the intense version and then um this is actually a really really good fragrance i do believe that i have a shorts on it if not it's on my instagram i love it i didn't initially like it when i first purchased it but i think when you wear it you do get a lot of the jasmine which is quite soapy quite fresh smelling but then it's confidence boosting i feel like when it dries down it's really earthy really aromatic i quite like it anyway and the longevity of it is amazing so definitely check it out especially if you're contemplating getting the libre intense or the libre itself definitely go for the libre intense and then i've got olympia legend which looks like this beautiful creamy caramel fragrance very sweet very creamy i absolutely love then i've got the armani emperor armani because it's you bubbly fun exciting makes me happy i love it and then the libre itself and then here i've got the um swiss arabian shaga food this is a very beast mode fragrance very beast mode very creamy at the dry down the vanilla is really nice it's an oud fragrance but really, really strong fragrance. So if strong scents get the better of you, I would say stay clear of this one or be prepared to spray it and leave it for a couple of hours and wait for the dry down because it's very, very strong, very long lasting, very beast mode. And then in front of it, I've got my Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This is a beautiful caramel was it caramel or vanilla i can't remember but it's very creamy very creamy scent i love it very warm very um comforting type of scent then i've got the valentino valentino voce viva voce viva i swear you guys these names i believe it is 
Dolce Viva. Anyway, this is the intense version. Love the bottle of this fragrance from Valentino. I think Chef's Kiss. They're very much in tune with the spikes for their bottles, um, which I do love a good brand presence across products. So I appreciate that. And then I've got this one at the back, which is a uh, club they knew it from our our math um i believe it's supposed to be a dupe for a fragrance i can't remember which one i don't know if you can see it but that one anyway and then in front of it i've got swiss arabian oud aswad again another oud strong from the same house uh swiss arabian is very very strong and then i've got the Latafa Oud for Glory. I don't know if this is an actual dupe. I mean, bottle wise, it looks like um, the uh, what's it called? The Oud for Greatness or something. I can't remember. But anyway, bottle wise, it looks exactly like the expensive one. But I like this fragrance. I feel like it's very beast mode. Oud, yummy, creamy. Oh, very strong. Love. I underestimated, I underestimated how <laughs> physically consuming it is to go through your collection. Anyway, so at the back, I've got my J'adore. Oh, you guys. So that is the box. That's the gift box of my Dior. And that fragrance is one that I've wanted for years. And I tell you, I even put it on my TikTok as one of those fragrances that I am going to get this year. I don't care because it's been on my list for too long and I've just procrastinated getting it. And guess who surprised me? My hubby. Yay. <laughs> so I finally got a 100, bo 100 ml bottle of J'adore. It also comes with a travel um, size that I will show you in a bit. So I've got J'adore and let me tell you something. I sprayed it for the first time a couple of days ago and legit worth every penny. Smells very zingy. I immediately felt bright, happy, sexy, everything. All the emotions in one. I can't tell you. Anyway, uh, La Venture. I think my camera cut off, but I believe I was about to talk about La Venture. Uh, firm by Al Haraman. I believe this is supposed to be a dupe for Creed. I guess I'm not sure. I don't have that fragrance, and I didn't buy it, uh, as a dupe or anything. I just heard really good things about it, so I purchased it. But honestly, longevity plus plus plus. Um, the fragrance itself is amazing. I do have a video talking about my purchases. This was one of those, um, one of the fragrances I showed in that video. So definitely go check it out if you want a little bit more information on that. Next, I've got Versace Eros Poire Femme. And this is a 50ml bottle, I believe. So I recently started getting 50ml bottles. I don't know. I just feel like they're cute, especially for this one. The 100ml looked really, really big. And I do have quite a lot of fragrances. So wasn't sure if I wanted to get into that i think i realized that i skipped this one this is the black opium uh the normal black opium and though it's a pleasant fragrance floral fruity fragrance gorgeous longevity is pretty poor especially for the price point from ysl i think the price point is a little harsh for what you get but i do like the bottle and the fragrance is very pleasant then on the back there, I've got Majestic Opulence by Zara. Again, I have a video talking about my Zara fragrances. This one was one of them. So definitely check that one out. But I do want to say that the Zara fragrances that come in this bottle style are pretty good. Uh, longevity as well, performance-wise, are very good. Um, In front of that, I've got my OG Amani C. This has been on my list for a long time to get a big bottle so i'm quite happy that i have that reminds me of special occasion bridal you know just like a special moment in your life 
And then I've got Club the New It by Aramath. Like, don't quote me. Because as I said, I don't buy fragrances because they're supposed to be dupes or whatever. But I do believe that this is a dupe for Coco Mademoiselle. I think. I don't know. I've never sprayed the two of them side by side. Because again, I didn't buy for that purpose. But I think it, I think they say it is. But I do not know. <laughs> and then on the side, I've got my big and proud La Belle. Love her. No. I've got my big and proud La Via Belle. Why did I say La Belle? La Belle is Jean-Paul Gaultier. But anyway, La Via Belle. La Via Belle is creamy, floral, pretty, everything you want in a fragrance. Honestly, crowd pleaser, that one. And then I've got Zara Oriental, which is a lot of people's favorites. I do like it. Um... Yeah, I've only just started using a little bit of it, so not really sure how I feel about it. In front, I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Scent of a Dream. Iconic for me. I love it. Beautiful floral. Love the bottle. Not too powdery, so it doesn't choke me out. Performance is brilliant. Crowd pleaser, in my opinion. Doesn't choke people out. Can wear it for any occasion. I recommend. That was a lot. <laughs> okay. Let's do this roll. So this one should be a lot easier to get to. Um, Zara Violet Blossom. Couldn't tell you much. Haven't really used it. Pleasant all round, I guess. Zara Gardenia. This is supposed to be a dupe for the black opium that I just showed you. The longevity of this one is much better than the black opium. I say that. And for me, it does smell a little stronger. So... Definitely try that out if you are looking to buy the black opium. Um, Vibrant leather for her from Zara. Still in that Zara video that I talked about. So you can definitely check that one. But as I said, the fragrances that come in this style bottle are pretty good. Versace Woman by Versace. I love. Definitely love this bottle. Come on, focus. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely love this bottle. I do love it. Performance is not the best, but I do feel like it's an easy everyday fragrance, you know, like Netflix and chill type of fragrance. Isn't going to get you sexy time or anything, but I feel like it's pleasant. And then I've got Prada Night in front. Prada Night is not a safe blind buy. Um, I think the smell is very, very unique. And it does, for me, it does take some getting used to. But I do love the scent. I love how complex it is. And I love the dry down. So just to mention, and the bottle is sexy. And then I have Zara Knew It. Again, couldn't really tell you too much. I have used it a few times, but I'm going to need to spray it to smell it. But I don't know if you want that. I think this is just a collection video so keep it short and sharp jasmine wisp classic if you don't have this fragrance everybody and their mama talked about this fragrance on every social media platform because it is that girl gorgeous bubbly long lasting love the bottle love everything about it and then i've got lancome uh trezor I believe La Nuit. Yeah, Lancome La Nuit Trezor. I love this. It's very creamy. Love the bottle. I feel like it's a good performance. Crowd pleaser. Again, I talked about it in my rating, my fragrances video. And then I've got this one. This is Too One Too Sexy. Say what you like. Too One Too Sexy by Carolina Herrera is... One of those classic fragrances that I feel like every woman should have in their collection. I don't feel like it's outdated. I feel like it's a classic. Very sexy. It is exactly what it says. It's a sexy fragrance. And I enjoy it. So I've got 100 mil. So 50 mil on each side. And I absolutely love it. I, I mean the packaging. I like it. You know. I like it. So I've got 50 mil on either side. Attempt to take it out. 
and you can just take out each side and ideally they say you could pop this in your bag and you're good to go like i need to spray it now because it's gorgeous i absolutely love it i love it i repurchased this fragrance recently <laughs> when i was about to repurchase it my husband said you know i met you wearing that fragrance i was like i know it was my signature scent that one and the bobbery that i'm going to show you in a bit those were my two signature scents so it's a little bit nostalgic for me but it's still a classic beautiful fragrance okay next i've got the frank frank olivia oud touch this is a strong beast mode fragrance as well beautiful dry down very creamy if you love vanilla you're gonna love floral street by vanilla orchid wild vanilla orchid um what am i saying you're gonna love wild vanilla orchid by floral street i do want to smell the other fragrances from floral street but i do i love the packaging i feel like the flowery print is very on brand for them and the smell is so beautiful so creamy then finally got my hands on the fenty beauty fragrance and this reminds me of the mancera roses vinyl really does 100 percent it's got that mintiness to it which i associate with rose so i haven't actually checked the notes of this fragrance but i do like if it has rose in it then definitely because i can pick it up and i'm not the biggest rose fan i associate rose with mint and to me it's not very pleasant but the dry down of this is quite nice so i'm still wearing this out i'm still testing and seeing how i feel let me know if you want thoughts <laughs> And then Red Temptation from Zara is supposed to be a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540 look. Don't get me started on that. If this is a dupe for Baccarat, then I'm not going to like Baccarat because I'm not a fan of this fragrance. Not a fan of the creaminess. I'm just generally not a fan of it. So have my thoughts on TikTok. <laughs> and then here I've got Amor Amor by Kakrel love this one longevity is an issue but it smells yum then um Givenchy l'interdit hopefully i pronounced that properly blood orange sexy goodness this is bitter when you spray it so i would say let it dry down like let it dry down because if you if you um base your thoughts on the initial spray you'll probably not like it I wouldn't suggest you blind buy it. I would suggest you get a sample if you can or go and smell it if you can. But I do, I did blind buy it and I am very happy with it. I love it. Okay. Here I've got my La Belle by Jean Paul Gaultier. This is a sexy, provocative, creamy, yummy fragrance. I love this. And then I've got the Amani C Passion. This again, beautiful date night, sexy scent. I love it. Gorgeous from Amani. So scandal. I feel like I've literally got my sexy fragrances here. And funny enough, a lot of my sexy, provocative, creamy fragrances that I associate with date night, with getting you some, are either black or red bottles. I've just, I've noticed that, so I don't know. But anyway, so scandal is exactly the same as La Belle very very provocative very sexy very beautiful fragrance then i've got dolce and gabbana pois femme intense which equally is very sexy very provocative i love it very intense very passionate and then uh rouge absolute by next that this is an underrated fragrance from next I think they've changed the bottle because mine is a couple of years old um but it's such a long lasting easy wearing scent i love i absolutely love that fragrance okay and coming to the side i've got red vanilla which some people say is a dupe for la via belle don't think so completely different scent profile to me la via belle is a lot stronger 
and then i've got the next enchantment similar to the absolute i feel like this is well slept on gorgeous scent i've had it for about two years now and i got it from next during the holiday period and it does remind me of christmas it's very strong very very strong scent i don't even know what the scent profile is i would probably say it's a woody scent some floral notes i don't know it's just the scent profile i feel like it's a combination of a few so i do find it to be very strong very long lasting i actually think it's borderline unisex in my opinion but i do love this fragrance actually i'm gonna give it a spray absolutely i would associate it as a unisex fragrance it's gorgeous but it's so strong i think i skipped this one this is dolce and gabbana poire femme that's the poire femme intense poire femme vanilla creamy yummy you can see how much i've used i love this fragrance this is a 50 ml bottle and i i am so obsessed with it it's so good lacoste l12 point something something i don't know the one with this bottle longevity is poor the scent is pleasant very 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 sweet i think uh, very calming but no performance whatsoever at all like what's going on lacoste done with the shells so those are my pink fragrances at the top i've got my gold juices you know and i've got my red bottles very sexy i've got my fun purples and i've got my earthy browns in the middle next we've got this tray right here. i will say like i feel like i've got more of my mysterious scents here so let's go through um balenciaga flora botanica this was a hard fragrance to get but i love it very fresh very zingy beautiful floral fragrance i don't think i've smelt anything like it it's so unique in itself i've got zara femme which to me is very creamy zara femme is very creamy in the dry down very um pleasant very bright very zingy in the opening um zara ebony wood this is the only one i've got in this particular style this is the collaboration with joe malone or one of the collaborations with joe malone this is part of the zara emotions yeah emotions collection and this to me is probably one of my favorites so far i mean bear in mind i've smelled two others but this one i love it's so beautiful so earthy again i don't have any scent remotely close to it so i am very very pleasantly surprised and then i have got ariana Grande, god is a woman i have a review of that on my shorts not really a fan of it i feel like it smells like cloud um in the opening the dry down is different but yeah i'm not a fan of ari's fragrances so far let's just say that um moschino funny is another one that surprised me good cheap fragrance longevity isn't the best however it's very um fresh very very zingy in the opening and it's pleasant i love it very beautiful i feel like it would excel in summer or spring because it's gorgeous um lightly bloom by zara have a, a a review of this on my youtube under my zara fragrances and i do like that this and the fields of nightfall i think it's called beautiful fragrances from zara this is my cloud before somebody asks i did purchase a tester bottle and my tester bottle didn't come with a cover and it came with the cloud casing but the fragrance itself was glued into the cloud casing because it was a tester fragrance so i had to yank it out so because of that the bottom is ugly and i don't have a cap but who cares i mean we're after the juice so <laughs> and you know i didn't want to spend too much money on the cloud fragrance because i wasn't even sure if i was gonna like it and i'm very much on the fence with the cloud like i don't know if i like it one minute i'm okay with it next minute i'm like eh, can't be asked get it out and the next minute is like oh, i'll just leave it in just use it whenever so i don't know i'm here there and nowhere so this is mark jacobs decadence this was a gift from my husband and 
I've had this fragrance for a good number of years now and I don't use it that much because of the sentimental value but even if I finish this fragrance I feel like I would keep the bottle because it's so aesthetically pleasing it looks like a handbag like for real looks like a handbag so I love that next at the back there i've got mew mew again this was a gift from my friend makeup for days thank you girl so i love this the opening of this is very bright very zesty very lemony i quite like it she also gave me britney spears i don't even know which one this is this is fantasy midnight fantasy and i got to smell the pink one in her house and I love this one over the pink one. Um, I do need to wear it more. I've actually only sprayed it in her home. I haven't actually sprayed it on myself or given it a wear test. So I don't know what it smells like on me. But it's quite nice so far. <laughs> Versace Dylan Blue. I have a review of this either on my YouTube channel or on TikTok. And I love this fragrance. Just it's again another perfect everyday wear work wear type of fragrance i love the crispiness of the apple in the opening i love how sweet it is i think it's perfect for all year round but i think it would excel a lot more in the summertime elizabeth arden fifth avenue royale i love this this the longevity of this is so good plus it's a cheap fragrance I think I got it for like 20 something pounds and the longevity is amazing same with the Rihanna fragrance this is the one with the black and gold bottle this is my favorite one I got to smell the cream one and I didn't particularly like it I feel like it's too creamy but this one is sexy this is sexy date night worthy affordable as well Um, Carolina Herrera uh what's this one good girl gone bad or just good girl because i don't even know i think it's just good girl <laughs> is it i don't know yeah i think it's just good girl anyway carolina herrera um good girl i love carolina herrera perfumes generally love her ex her aesthetic um, and I feel like this is a good date night fragrance as well. Very, very sexy or just sexy time generally. And then I've got Bobbery Brit for her. And I love this fragrance. This for me screams autumn weather. Again, uh, for me, it's an all year round. It's and it's a signature scent. Signature scent just means that you can wear your fragrance whenever. You don't need a specific season. You can wear it whenever you like. And I feel like this is signature scent worthy. You can see how much I've used. I absolutely love this. So that's it. So in this tray, I've got my whites. I've got my blues. And I've got some of my blacks. Obviously, there's a spillover of blacks up there. But these are blacks with a taller bottle. And then I just kept my Burberry here. Because I, I use this fragrance quite a lot. So I kind of want to have it to hand whenever I want to use it. So... These are the main places where my fragrances are, but I do have other parts of my room where I keep my Kayali fragrances, um, some Juicy Couture, and some other fragrances. So let's check them out. Okay, so this is the first location of my Juicy Couture fragrances. So I've got them on like acrylic drawers, just lined up. And I try to keep the ones with the bows <laughs> in the same place. Hopefully the light is not washing things out. But this is on my vanity, which is in a mess at the moment. So I'm trying to sort out the room, ready for the room tour. So bear with. <laughs> so this is the Juicy Couture Gold. This is, is this gold? Yeah, this is Juicy Couture Gold. I love this one. This one smells very grown, very mature. And the lasting power on this one is very good as well. This is my travel size Dior. So I just keep that on the side because I don't need it for now. And then behind it, I don't even know what this one is called. This is Viva La Juicy Noir. So this is Viva La Juicy Noir. Love the bottle of this one. This again, it reminds me of like bubbly, you know. To be honest, my Juicy Couture fragrances, the only ones that are 
like my favorites the gold um the one at the back and i'll show you some other ones the rest of them the longevity is just okay but they smell really good though and this one is viva la juicy viva la juicy she's got a little bling a little shine i've worn this one a little bit i do like the bottle very very beautiful they're all 100 mil this one i freaking love so this one is viva la juicy rose for real well let me see well i need to check the notes of this one because it must be a certain type of rose because or maybe they just put it in the name and it, there's really no rose in it who knows anyway those are my juicy couture fragrances on here it's on a glitter um storage box from anastasia and i i love this i love that they've got their little bows all al all aligned with the little bottle caps and i think that's just aesthetically pleasing so i oh yeah i love that <laughs> when i scoot around i've got my alex drawers ignore how ugly the front is i've had these alex drawers for i want to say probably over five years <laughs> So they've lasted me quite a while and they've been through a lot. So on top of that, I've got this, um, it's like a transparent tray. This is the Ferro Rocher um, case. I just broke and I put my fragrances in it. And then I've got this makeup spinning or skincare spinning thing, which I keep my smaller fragrances in. Just to let you know that you don't need the biggest storage anything. For your storage solutions just think outside the box and you can do so much so these are all my Kayali fragrances we've got all of them Woohoo! got all nine I do have a dedicated video rating all the Kayali fragrances so sweet diamond which one's this one deja vu Eden juicy apple and then must Citrus, don't you just love these bottles? Like Keali, honestly, the aesthetic. Vanilla, Alexa, Invite Only, Utopia, Vanilla, Cocoa. They all sit quite nicely, perfectly in the tray. Oh. And then to the side, I've got the three fragrances that I kind of use as like my house coat spray my room spray because i don't like them <laughs> they either smell really nice but the longevity is poor or they don't smell really nice so yeah the one that i don't really like the smell is the flash i feel like it's too clean smelling it smells like a room spray so i use it for that literally use it for that and then got this picture that um makeup for days did for me this is so cute like i literally don't print pictures of myself so i'm so happy that she sent me a few and it's like it's just so nice so nice <laughs> i was feeling myself during summer so anyway and then i've got mark jacobs dot i love the smell of this fragrance however the longevity is, a, is an issue and the bottle is an even bigger issue in terms of storage like it just takes up way too much space the same with the vera wang so this is vera wang love struck at the back i love the smell but the performance is an issue and then it just takes up way too much space from the cap like who are they making these fragrances for so that's how i store what's on the side then behind the Kayali fragrances, this is definitely my favorite from oops, this is my favorite from Juicy Couture. This is Juicy Couture Glistening Amber. I feel like there's maybe oud in this fragrance. I don't know. But it's just very earthy. I really like this fragrance. I need to wear it more, especially during the cold months. And then I also love this one. So this one is Royal Rose Juicy Couture. And they both have like a medallion around the neck, which I, I absolutely love. And then here, because this bottle can't stand, literally can't stand to save its life, 
I just let it lean. And this is the Lancome. Oh, why did I just forget the name? Uh, this is Lancome. Oh. Wow, that took a minute. This is the Lancome doll. And you can see this is probably my most worn fragrance of 2021. No lie. 75 ml bottle. Completely. Yeah, I wear it a lot because the longevity is amazing. It still lingers in my coat. If I need to get it out of my clothes, I have to wash them. It's beautiful. Right, so next or the last place we've got is my spinning tray. So I've got my Abaco Paris fragrances here. I did have two more, I think. On my <laughs> I gave it to my sister. So I've only got Glitter, Odelia and Jamie Lee. I do have a video talking about the Abaco Paris fragrances up on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested, definitely check them out. They are $14.99 and apparently they're supposed to be dupes for fragrances. Again, I don't buy fragrances for that purpose, but if they are dupes, great. Um, Lady Million. Lady Million is a favorite of mine. Bubbly, yummy fragrance. I love it. Crowd pleaser all around. Love the bottle as well. A nightmare to store. So she sits solo in that little space. And then when I spin her over, I've got Lancome Poem. My sister gave me this one. I wouldn't say it's an old school fragrance, but I would say it's it's vintage. And it has a very unique smell to it. Um, that I don't think everyone, especially in new school, will like it. I do like it because it speaks to my generation, I guess. I It's very mature. I love it. And then Jimmy Choo Illicit is another beautiful everyday fragrance. I absolutely love it. The mod the longevity is moderate. You do get a couple of hours, but it isn't mind-blowingly long-lasting, which is fine. Up here, I've got Philosophy Pure Grace Nude Rose. I like this. Oops. I like this. I've got this in a... Is this 30 mil? Now, this is a 15 mil bottle. This was a gift from look fantastic when i purchased a few fragrances so i i'm still testing that one out i don't know if i'm gonna upgrade it to full bottle and then in the same tray i've got some dupes so these are pure fragrances these are supposed to be dupes of famous fragrances unless i smell them i can't tell you which is which but one is supposed to be a dupe for la via belle another one a dupe for coco chanel no coco mademoiselle and one that is a hundred percent which is the one that i've used the most which is this one is a dupe for angel by mugler and hundred percent even if i think it's even stronger like literally i've had this fragrance for years and i can only take about one or two sprays before it gives me a headache because it's that strong if you're concerned with the angel fragrance you know that it's very very strong now imagine um more oils of it <laughs> it is very strong so i love that scoot to the side i've got woman gold by zara one of zara's best fragrances from this size i love it longevity of this is very good as well i really use this fragrance um and i i adore it very very earthy fragrance i love i love love it this one is the Lanvin. What is it called? I haven't used this one much. This is relatively new to my collection. I don't know what it's called. I can't remember. Inter Parfums Paris. If I can remember the name or if I find it, I'll put it on the screen. But this is pretty much new. And this was just a blind buy. I read some reviews on All Beauty and I was like, give it to me. I'll try it. And I do love it. Again, very vintagey, not citrusy or anything, just very musky, I think, and very earthy fragrance. Go fruity from Zara. Synthetic, sweet, um, fruity fragrance. Very pleasant, but it is synthetic, so it, it does leave like a uh a, oh yeah. A synthetic taste at the back of your mouth 
if you think but it is very sexy very very pleasant good to go to bed with uh i am getting tired <laughs> so these are the last few fragrances i've got by the the by the fireplace from replica this just smells like smoke to me it's just smoke wood tobacco there is no people okay there's supposed to be vanilla in this some people say yeah when it dries down you get a vanilla scent i don't get any of that and i'm gutted i'm bitter because i bought it for the vanilla scent if you don't know by now my scent profile is floral sweet but creamy i love vanilla scents i love soft florals jasmine is nice i love jasmine um but i just love pleasant floral sweet scents i'm a gourmand girl i love creaminess i love warmth i love all of that good stuff so this one isn't doing it for me at the moment so i'm waiting for my husband to do up his perfume area so i can transfer them over the same with jazz club it's too boozy for me too too boozy unless i mix it with creamy sweet fragrances it's just too overpowering for me to wear this one is relatively new to my collection pretty much new this is uh giorgio by ooh, beverly hills giorgio beverly hills i don't know who it's by tolu gave it to me and i love the bottle i sprayed hers in the house and i fell in love with the scent i do love it up here i've got calvin klein secret obsession creamy woodsy check out my review it's on youtube i love the scent i love the bottle as well just reminds me of a genie in the bottle oh, genie. i'm not gonna do that but yeah <laughs> i love this scent and the last one oh i skipped this one the this is the h&m black papyrus that is a woody i feel like it's a woody scent very strong literally if you spray if you over spray this fragrance i promise you you're gonna have the biggest headache in the world so tread lightly with that one packs a punch and then i've got soft by al al rehab which is a dupe in my opinion for pink sugar but a better dupe i feel like the longevity of this one is a lot better and it's a lot creamier um it's just very pleasant it's just taste or no, not taste it smells like um warm sugar with caramel and cakes and just very sweet very pleasant so and then up here i've got my little babies my little samples so i've got the amani c small bottle i've got gucci bloom not a fan i've got chloe nomad which at some point is going to um graduate to full bottle and i've got alive by boss which is also going to graduate to full bottle at some point so yeah and these are the fragrances that are on top of my nine draw alex draw <sighs> and breathe <laughs> well that is it you guys i hope this wasn't too long drawn out i tried my best to speed through as much as i can but 124 bottles is quite a lot to go through but i hope you enjoyed it as i said if you're looking for specific reviews i have them in different places you could check pinterest you could check tiktok you could check my instagram you could even check the youtube shorts and if you're looking for comparison or you're looking for category like date night like work appropriate fragrances things like that definitely comment below and i can do that i think that's the starting point for me um i've pretty much been doing ratings and hauls but if you want more comparison videos definitely let me know one of the things i definitely want to branch into is more niche fragrances um they are expensive so it's slow and steady for me i'm not overly eager to spend a lot of money for fragrances that i probably won't like the smell or because youtube said i'm not that type of person i am looking for samples to smell 
and I've got Lira on my list because it's vanilla goodness and I've got a couple others on my list the perfumes de Mali, the Lina, the pink one I smelled that in Harrods and I fell in love with it so I do want to purchase that one the Byredo Afrique something I can't remember what it's called but I'll pop it on the screen that is another one that I absolutely love I smelt it fell in love with it so yeah let me know you know let me know what you guys think and I hope to God <laughs> that you enjoyed this video if you did and you want to see more fragrance content then definitely subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when next I release a video now remember God doesn't like ugly be nice someone today and black lives will always matter and I'll catch you in a future video bye and take care <laughs>